Hi everyone, Trey Bennett here, nurse practitioner and founder of Integrative Health Providers, Kansas City's only board certified lifestyle medicine specialist. Okay, so today I'm going to discuss this card here, and this is the EWG's Clean 15 and Dirty Dozen. And what this is, is a list of foods to buy organic, in the case of the Dirty Dozen, and some that you can get away buying conventional in the case of the Clean 15. Every year, the Environmental Working Group goes through and tests fruits and vegetables after they've been washed for environmental contaminants like herbicides and pesticides. And so the Dirty Dozen are the ones that are most contaminated with these chemicals. So strawberries are number one most contaminated. They are in order as well. So strawberries, you can think about um, all those tiny nooks and crannies around all the tiny little seeds in a strawberry. They collect those chemicals and it is much more difficult to wash these off. Um, spinach is similar with that, with all the waves and the leaves. Kale is similar. Um, these are all highly contaminated foods. Um, nectarines are also sprayed, heavily sprayed. Apples as well, grapes, peaches, cherries, pears, tomatoes are a big one. Um, so you wanna make sure that your tomato sauces and salsas are always organic because these tomatoes are highly contaminated with herbicides and pesticides. Celery, same thing potatoes, and uh, carrots are not mentioned on this list, but they are in the same boat as potatoes because they are grown in the soil, so therefore they have contact with the earth and contact with any type of herbicide, herbicides or pesticides that are sprayed or spread on the ground. Hot peppers are a bonus in the Dirty Dozen this year and uh, that's because they are also highly contaminated with herbicides or pesticides. On the Clean 15 side, we've got avocados. You'll notice that on the Clean 15 side, we've got a bunch of foods that are either naturally pest resistant or they are, uh, they contain, uh, they're encapsulated or covered in some sort of husk or um, skin that you will either cut into or peel away before you eat. So avocados are uh, number one on this list. Sweet corn, pineapples, sweet peas, frozen, onions. Onions um, uh, are also grown in the ground, but we peel away a layer or two before we eat those. Uh, papayas, eggplants, asparagus, these are just foods that are naturally pest resistant, essentially. Kiwis, same thing. Cabbage, cauliflower, cantaloupes, broccoli, mushrooms, and honeydew melons. So these are all foods that you can get away with if you're shopping on a budget or um, otherwise you, um, organics are not available in your area. You can definitely get away with purchasing conventionally grown um, on the Clean 15 side. And again, you want to really focus on organic uh, when you're looking at the Dirty Dozen side. This is especially important in uh, pregnant women, pregnant and breastfeeding women. These chemicals that are con uh, contaminates on these fruits and vegetables are known to pass through uh, the breast milk to the infant. So especially important in those um, early stages of life. Also in the later years, um, so your uh, grandmother, um, it would also be best if she uh, would eat organic, especially on these dirty dozen fruits and vegetables. All right, that's it for today. Be well, Kansas City.